Nitro Kid, debuted over a decade ago, was a high-flying innovator in South Africa back in the early part of the new millennium and was one of the original SA masters of the 450s flash. Nitro returned to the AWA ring and impacted the lightweight and cruiserweight divisions, chasing the respective champions in exciting bouts that showed he still has what it takes. Although the competitors have changed, Nitro is still ahead of their game. The Cape Tonian Alcatraz was one of the top workers in XWE during 2011 and is one of the most improved SA wrestlers of the year. An original member of the now defunct Bar Revolution in AWA, Alcatraz made the transition to XWE to better fulfill his potential. His unique Lucha-inspired catch as catch Kim style set him apart from other SA wrestlers and he showed he is highly capable of taking the ball and rolling with it, with a notable ring rivalry against Hybrid for the majority of the year. Alcatraz, in his early 20s and as passionate as SA wrestlers come, has a bright future. Devin Shooter started off the year as the WWP co-tag team champion alongside father and SA legend The Blacksmith, with strong defenses across South Africa positioning them as one of the country's top teams to beat. Shooter displayed more athleticism, fervor, growth and stability than seen in previous years, and there's no telling how far the young Port Elizabeth native will go in the future. Standing at over 6 foot 5 and bearing black metal inspired markings, the intimidating deathmatch Star Crow was heavily active on the SA scene in 2011, making an impact countrywide in SAPW, APW and DPW. Among Crow's year highlights, bitter feuds with Perry Madu, Jason the Terrible and Jackal resulted in compelling hardcore matchups and light tube deathmatches. In December, a monster vs monster battle against Nightmare captured the imagination of fans in Durban. Crow's high pain threshold and superb grasp of psychology place him in a league of his own in the hardcore world. Mohammed Azim, the son of SA legend Abdul Qadir, proved that he is one of the country's top and most valuable rookies. Experiencing a relatively successful year, several wins at the WWP Splash Festival against the Spanish sensation Angelico Anua Bora Bora gave him a rise up the ranks in WWP, in the crucial tag team win at XWE Ignition alongside friend and previous rival Joe Fury against SA legend The Blacksmith and son Devin Shooter enabled a possible shot at the WWP World Tag Team titles in future. Azim is considered the pride of the Muslim world and is one of Cape Town's wrestling forerunners. The maniacal two-face propelled his game and delivered great performances in APW and DPW, winning his first championship at the end of the year by capturing the DPW Interprovincial title against Shadow. In one of this year's highlights, two-face engaged in a brutal, memorable last man standing bout against El Mascarado, and was then thrust into an APWA main event spot in a fatal four-way bout for the APWA heavyweight title in which he lost. The athletic two-face is in his early 20s and has the potential to become among the elite. Nightmare experienced a tremendous 2011 with the establishment of Durban Pro Wrestling and capturing the Durban Heavyweight title. Previously affiliated to WWP, Nightmare took his own course and created a promotion in Durban to cater for the lack of wrestling in the region. Nightmare defended the territory with extreme matches against Vitlis, JDX and Crow, as well as a show of force in Johannesburg with flashes against Carvance and SAPW and taking part in a hardcore rumble in APWA. 2012 might be the year Nightmare truly shines. The reigning AWA Tober's Cape Lightweight Champion Little Hillbilly is one of the best high-flying risk-taking attractions on the SA scene today, taking the spot that was left by Revy who was injured for most of the year. Hillbilly's gimmick is one that certainly contrasts his ring style but also contributes to his comedic and general audience entertainment value. Defenses against Ed Electric, Max and others were better than expected and solidified Hillbilly's place as one to watch. After many character changes, it seems Little Hillbilly is here to stay. The Man of Steel Jason Steele's 2011 started off with wars against Anunzi and Ryan Cage in APWA, earning a semi-final spot in the King of Africa but dropping out at the last moment. 
Steele was inactive during the middle of the year until the re-establishment of XWE, where he debuted against Warlock, a match that would trigger a feud between the two warriors leading to a December Slammer. With more commitment, Steele has potential to become one of SA's top stars, but in terms of raw talent he is in the very elite. El Mascarado Mexicano is the only wrestler to be included in any of the top 20 lists that has less than 6 months experience. This extraordinary young lion officially burst onto the South African scene during the middle of 2011, coming out of the African Punishment Wrestling Association's training academy run by Anunzi. Mascarada proved to be a very quick learner and was involved in entertaining matches against a wide assortment of opponents, first teaming with two face in what would be a quick breakup. A feud against Terry Medu revolved around the disassembly of Mascarado's mask, before Mascarado seek revenge against Toothface and took part in one of the most dramatic hardcore matches of the year. In December, Mascarado became the fifth APWA Heavyweight Champion. His career is, amazingly, only just starting. Mixed martial arts aficionado Sammy Swiggers was boosted to the main event spot in the Africa Wrestling Alliance in 2011, delivering highly admirable performances that prove he is among the best and most unique wrestlers in SA. Swiggers' MMA skill provided a different and exciting dynamic to the chaotic matches he was involved in, butting heads with names like Sean Cohen and Johnny Blasio, and setting himself apart as a more modern style wrestler with true technique. Swiggers is indeed self-styled. The longest reigning WWP World Heavyweight Champion in the title's seven-year history and the most technically proficient South African worker today, Moonso Master Tornado was less active than he was in previous years but still displayed the awesome prowess that has made him into the legend that he is today, retaining his championship in David vs. Goliath battles against the towering Nigerian monster Kilimanjaro for much of 2011. Tornado's career started in the late 80s when he was given the Tornado mask by Danny Briggs, and he has become better with age in many ways. Over 40 years old, Tornado could very well be one of the most overlooked wrestlers in the world. Anunzi, who was the number one South African wrestler in 2010, dropped several places due to a shocking and unexpected retirement in the middle of the year that came as a result of a life-threatening spinal injury. Anunzi's wrestling accomplishments in 2011 included a great stint as a deadly alliance member with Ryan Cage, making it to the semi-finals of the King of Africa, and continuing his feud with Exterminator. With so many ups and downs in 2011, including his first WWE tryout in FCW just one month before his retirement and spinal surgery, the greatest feat accomplished by the popular 10-year veteran was being the best promoter of the year in South Africa during 2011, taking APWA on the road and across northern South Africa, making it the top and most active wrestling SA promotion bar none. Quavo Kid secured a dream mid-year by winning the WWP All-Africa Heavyweight title at the WWP Splash Festival, making it his very first singles title victory and first title since holding the WWP World Tag Team title with Kilimanjaro more than a year ago. Quavo Kid would successfully endure challenges from competitors all over the country, including El Mascarado, Terminator, Ali Chihiro and others in good matches. The charismatic Port Elizabeth native is a former martial arts veteran and utilizes a wide array of Savak kicks. He is quite possibly one of the top five most popular wrestlers in South Africa. The Lion of Africa Sean Kuhn took the Africa Wrestling Alliance to a new level with a countrywide tour at the start of 2011, opening new doors for the Cape Town-based promotion that was founded in 1995. Kuhn mixed up the weight divisions to enable fresh matchups and went head-to-head -head with Johnny Blasio in a great, chaotic feud that many fans were waiting eagerly for. The rivalry put over Palacio as a bona fide AWA main eventer, and Kuhn lost his title to him in the year's first and most surprising House of Pain show. Over several months Kuhn would also collide with the likes of Sammy Swiggers, Oz, Missing Link and others in hardcore fiestas. Sean Kuhn's contributions to South African wrestling cannot be understated.
The rude effort-based juggernaut known simply as Exterminator started 2011 as the WWP All-Africa Heavyweight Champion after defeating NZ in a legendary ladder match last December, and was subsequently chased by long-standing challenger Quato Kid for much of the year until being dethroned at the WWP's annual Splash Festival show. Exterminator's feuds with Quato Kid, NZ, Johnny Saban and Ryan Cage resulted in some of 2011's best bouts. His rampaging, destructive bruiser bravado and raw ability make him arguably one of the world's most overlooked powerhouses. The French monster Terry Medu experienced a career renaissance in 2011, a year that saw him go from standing tall with Sun and APWA co-tag team champion Zuzu Medu at the beginning of the year, to breaking up with his son in what turned out to be one of the most heated rivalries in South African wrestling in years. Terry Medu made stars out of his opponents in feuds against Crow and Joe Dozer, among others. He became the first ever APWA King of Africa in May and in December defeated his son to capture the internationally recognized Power Trip Wrestling World Heavyweight title. At over 40 years old, Midu is one of only a handful of South African legends with more than 15 years experience in the ring. In the near-decade-long period that has spanned Johnny the Italian Stallion Palazzo's career, we have witnessed his incredible willingness to sacrifice and his undying dedication to AWA, where he went from being a cruiserweight champion on live television in 2004 to becoming the All-Africa Heavyweight Champion in 2011, making history by being the first wrestler to have held both titles. Palazzo's micability and charm are just a few of his most well-known traits, but his capacity to grow each year and consistently have engrossing matches show a deeper understanding of the game than most. He may be considered the heart and soul of AWA, but many will argue that he is also the heart and soul of SA Wrestling itself. Zizumidu shown above his peers in 2011 and was rewarded the main event spot in APWA. Aspiring to reach the success of his idol Justin Gabriel and after having returned from a career-changing experience in Florida, Zizu displayed unprecedented growth in the space of one year, a credit to his great attitude and work ethic. 2011 was truly a breakout year for the club sensation, with highlights including Zizu finally attaining his goal of mastering the 450 splash, winning the Power Trip Wrestling World Heavyweight title in the United Kingdom, and, in addition, winning the APWA Tag Team titles and WWP World Cruiserweight title. One of the most passionate, dedicated and hardest working as a wrestlers, Zizu was the most active wrestler in South Africa this year, partaking in bouts that consistently ranged from good to excellent against a myriad of differently molded workers in APWA, PTW, AWA, XWE and SAPW. The same energy and moments of brilliance that was seen in PJ Black and Tornado 2 can be seen in flashes in Zizu Midu right now, and amazingly, his career is only just starting. Johnny the Iceman Saban made a successful transition to the main event and displayed a remarkable mind for the game. Saban is arguably the most talented all-round wrestler to rise from the Johannesburg area in a while. His crown accomplishment in 2011 was capturing the APWA heavyweight title twice, putting over the championship in a big way with inspired efforts. However, even more noticeable was his tremendous advancement in the ring. Considering that Johnny Saban only started his career three years ago, he has made an indelible impression in South African wrestling and is easily among the country's finest, most interesting and cutting-edge ring workers. Exceptional bounce against lesser workers revealed a unique heel ability to bring the best out of his opponents while making himself look good. The charismatic Iceman is not only capable on the mat but proficient on the mic, and his supreme heel ability makes him one of SA's top heat magnets. Johnny Saban is a proponent of the art of wrestling and his devotion to the art is certainly a lesson to be learned for those on the SA scene. 
Going beyond the call, Johnny Sabin is most deserving of being hailed the number one South African wrestler in 2011.